Hi guys. So today is Sunday. Uh, Sunday is coffee time, long time. Uh, it's time to enjoy life, right? So guess we are where we are right now. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, the other direction. Nice place, right? So <laughs> we are now at uh, Bonifacio Global City, one of the most cleanest, organized, and prosperous district in Metro Manila. Um, it's a great place to, you know, to shopping, um, find a high-end restaurant or just hang out with your friends uh, have a cup of coffee just like me you know enjoy life uh, um, this, this park is at uh, slap bang at the center of Glo uh, Bonifacio Global City and um, a lot of people will come here uh, to you know just just like them you know, just re get just relax and or walk your dog or clean with your kids right Life seems very enjoyable here, right? Yeah. So later we're gonna talk to some local residents here and uh, ask them how is how is their life here and uh, maybe other questions also. So okay, can see you. Uh, do you live here or you live in? I other? live here. You I live, live here. in Makati City. Makati Just City. Ano. Oh, okay. Ano? <laughs> So if you can rate your life satisfaction from one to ten, yeah. and what what is your answer? For me, I'm still ano in my uh, I'm rating my life in number five. Number five. Because I'm not yet uh, successful. I'm not yet stable because I'm still studying, oh. and I still have a child who is six years old. So I'm still in the phase of my life when I'm uh, when I'm here pushing through my dreams because I'm not yet there oh okay yeah, that's you're still on the I'm way to yes, achieve I'm, your dream I'm still on the half of my dreams oh, okay yeah okay. and the second one is what what is your new year wish for 20 new year's wish yeah 2021 okay. actually my new year's wish is as simple as other people's wish oh. because um, we all know that uh, everybody is struggling with the pandemic yeah sure which sure. is uh, COVID-19 um, I just want everyone to be safe and I just want to, the pandemic to end now because we all, we are all um, thirsty with you know, freedom, you know, yeah. and we miss our lives back sure. then. Yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The new normal is a bit you know, struggling. It's yeah. a bit, it's a battle for us all. Okay. Uh, so the last one. <laughs> uh, have you noticed that there are growing number of homeless people in Metro Manila. Actually, um, that's not new to us anymore. Uh, no? oh. um, growing up in Paranaque, I grew up in Paranaque, if you don't mind. Paranaque? Yes, Paranaque City, here in Metro Manila as well. Para oh, Paranaque City? Yeah, okay. Paranaque City. Okay. I lived there for uh, about maybe five years. And I've seen this ano, um, slum areas. So, I, I guess uh, everybody knows that Philippines has a growing number of um, illegal dwellers here because, you know, lack of food resources, education, and employment. And, yeah, education is number one, first of all, because um, here in the Philippines, if you don't have um, educational attainment, it's hard for you to get hired in your, yeah. you know, in your... I mean, in your skills that you want to want to work for. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, do you live in uh, living here? Or? Yes, around here. Near uh, here. Actually. Near here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the first question is, uh, if you can rate your life satisfaction from one to ten, uh, what is your answer? Life satisfaction overall. Yeah. 9.5 because 9 we're, not allowed, yeah, we're wow. not allowed to go out so yeah, yeah like go to the beach and all so it's 9.5 wow awesome <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs>
and uh, uh, the second one is what what is your new year wish for 2021 um just a healthy healthy family oh, good happiness. health for my family and myself okay. yeah that's it and uh, the third one is uh, have you noticed that there are growing number of homeless people in metro manila um apparently when the pandemic started they all showed up so yeah uh, sad to say, but there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, we also noticed that. Yes. Um, the, the fourth one is uh, up to you. If, if, if you can answer, <laughs> you, uh, it's, it's up to you. Right? Uh, what should the Philippine government do to counter poverty, in your opinion? Um, I'm not sure, but I think they should support more NGOs. Support more NGOs. Yeah, instead of um, focusing on, on things that's not really important. You know? oh. So how, what, what about education? Do you think that they should invest more in education area? Or? I think they should invest more on health, health of the Filipinos and focus on the homeless people. Because I think if there's a lot of like homeless people, um, it speaks more of the country and the government. Yes, yes. So I think education, it's just, it's everywhere. Education is everywhere. But if you focus on like building like um, the self-confidence of the homeless people and if you give them a chance to actually um, get back up on their feet then I think it's something that's really going to be um, beneficial to everyone in the near future. So give them some confidence about your yeah, life? Yeah, and then give them a little push so that okay. they can start in life again, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Absolutely. think that's good, that's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Happy Valentine's. How long have you been living in the Philippines? Uh, 13 months. We got here in July last year. Oh, so you work in Bonifacio, Global City? Uh, my wife works in a couple of sites across further in Manila. Oh. Uh, I work from home. You work from, you work yes. from home? Oh, okay. So now I'm going to ask you some questions about your, uh, your life. Sure. And uh, if you can read your life satisfaction from 1 to 10, and what, what is your answer? What, which, sorry? Uh, if you can rate your life satisfaction ah, from 10. One, 10. 10. Wow. Okay. Loving life. <laughs> loving life. Life's great. <laughs> Healthy, you know. You know, there's a lot of people worse off than I am. Wow. You know, so, yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Make the most of it, sort of thing. So. And uh, the next one is what is your New Year wish for 2021? My New Year wish, well, my big picture New Year wish is we all get vaccines and everyone can go about their oh, normal life. That's it. <laughs> and my daughter can go to face to face school. That's, oh. that's, that's probably the big one. Oh, okay. And uh, the next one is uh, have you noticed that there are a growing number of homeless people in Metro Manila? I haven't noticed in BGC. I think BGC doesn't have a lot of homeless people yeah, around. Sure, yeah. And I haven't been spent a lot of time more broadly in Manila, so I really, I, could, I don't see it. I'm sure it's there, but I don't see it. Okay. Um, so, uh, the last one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what, should the, what should the Philippine government do to counter poverty, in your opinion? To do what? To, to counter poverty. I think it's, it's challenging because I'm not sure they've got enough financial resources to do it. But um, I think the, the number one priority is got to get the vaccine rolled out so they yeah. get as many people working as they can. And, and education. They've had kids too long locked up at home. And that's not fair on the kids. And that's the thing that's going to hold them back in the long term is having all these kids locked up inside with no schools to go to. So I think sort that out, get their education back on track, and that'll be their biggest thing to help them through. Got it. Perfect. No worries, guys. Good Thank luck with it all. So, uh, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Okay. Uh, so the first one is, uh, if you can read your life satisfaction from 1 to 10, uh, what is your answer? Uh, 5. I still want to do something else, you know, like uh, going somewhere else that I've never been with. There's a lot of room for improvement still, so I'm still in the middle. Next one is, uh, what, is, what is your New Year wish for 2021? Uh, to eradicate the pandemic, of uh, course, it's really hard. Because, you know, uh, I cannot go around the place, like I cannot go to, to the province, or I will be locked down, or I have to wear a mask, I have to wear this. Or limited really free, social, yeah. uh, personal freedom. Right? There is no freedom, yes, yes, yeah. of course. So, I like to be 
2019. Again, because 2019 is, <laughs> that, that doesn't have to go with it, No right? more year, right? Huh? <laughs> yeah. so the third, third question is, have you noticed that there are a growing number of homeless people in Metro Manila? Well, it's kind of hard because at first when time is really normal, like, like there's no pandemic at all, they're actually having a hard time already. Yes, yes. Like coping up with everything. They don't have you future know. plans. Right? Yeah, they don't have future plans. So when the pandemic hits, it actually really like, you know, putting them on the box, like getting harder and harder because you cannot work outside like normally. So the last one is, uh, what should the Philippine government do to counter poverty in your opinion? The best thing I think we should do is to fix something on ourselves first. It starts with ourselves, you know what I mean? For example, I'm helping my community and then those in the community will start thinking that maybe I should do it as well. So I will start to do it as well. So a lot of people is, will do it and it's like a virus but in a good way, you know what I mean? You, you, you have the same idea as me. Some people may, say, uh, may think that uh, we cannot change anything, right? We are, we are not politicians, we are not powerful people. But if we can do something from, our, from ourselves, that we can help our community, we can help uh, people around us, then it's just like you said, it's like it's virus, like, right? Yeah. We're all inside. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, how would you rate your life satisfaction? And how COVID-19 affect your life? Do you know there are people who are still struggling to survive every single day? Thank you, sir. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the lunch. Thank you. So what is that? For uh, okay. the video? Okay.